Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco, and it's a Buffalo Bills Victory Tuesday, a little different than usual, which means today I'm going to be doing some reading dumb comments, and honestly, usually I do it from the opposing team's fans. Uh, last week we did reading dumb comments from Miami Dolphins fans. We had the Patriots, but this week the Steelers, their fan base was pretty humble. Realistically, they knew there wasn't a very good shot at them winning this game. So th there was no high expectation for the Steelers team going into the playoffs. So we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to read dumb comments about Josh Allen today, and this should be fun. Josh Allen was dominant this week. He passed for three touchdowns. He added 74 rushing yards and had this monster touchdown run that reminded everybody of what he's all about. Now, we're going to start off with our first dumb comment, and it actually did come from a Steelers fan. It reads, It's so hard to play defense now. Josh Allen fake slide leads to a touchdown. Josh Allen late slide leads to a personal foul. Really? Really? A fake slide? Look at this play over again. Josh Allen, he did a little turn there, a little twist with his body, but that, that my friend, is not a fake slide. And then this late hit, that is clearly a late hit. And anytime you do that against a quarterback, any quarterback, but especially a star quarterback like Josh Allen, you're going to get flagged. Our next dumb comment comes from a fan of a team that was eliminated this week. And it says, don't ever say Josh Allen is better than Jalen Hurts again. This comment came all the way back in week one after the Bills lost to the New York Jets. I kept receipts for this one. Because guess what? Josh Allen is better than Jalen Hurts. And there's so many examples of it. Really, the, the really telling thing for me is the way that these, the, the comparison of how these two seasons ended. Philadelphia started off 10-1. and one. Buffalo was 6-6. Six and six. And after Philly and Buffalo played a game where Philadelphia won, Josh Allen was a better player in that game. Don't get me started on that. You've had a team in Philadelphia that went on to lose six straight games into the postseason in the wild card. And then Buffalo, on the other hand, they've won six straight games going on to the AFC divisional round game. That's pretty telling. Josh Allen is a top two or three quarterback in the National Football League, and I don't think there's any doubt about it. On the other hand, Jalen Hurts, he's a good quarterback. Probably somewhere in the top ten range, but um, he's not Josh Allen's level. He's not the same quarterback. He's not even close. Just look at the numbers. Look at the results. Look at everything. It will tell you Josh Allen's a better quarterback. It doesn't take too much analysis to dive into this one. I'm surprised Allen didn't throw three interceptions in that game. Not a Steelers fan. Are you surprised that Josh Allen had four touchdowns? Three through there, one on the ground? Probably not. That's just a dumb and unnecessary comment. On to the next one. Josh Allen has 94 turnovers since 2018. Yikes. Since you want to do numbers, let's do numbers, okay? Peyton Manning, yes, Peyton Manning. He had 110 interceptions thrown in his first six seasons of the NFL. Josh Allen, he's through six seasons in the NFL. That's not even counting the fumbles that Peyton Manning had. So, Peyton Manning, he's um, he's considered a great, he is a legend of the game, a Hall of Famer, former Super Bowl champion. Josh Allen, he hasn't reached that Super Bowl champion status yet, but what I'm saying here is Josh Allen, you want to say that Peyton Manning's a great, but Josh Allen's not. Josh Allen has gone on a tear. A touchdown scoring tear over the last four seasons. The first quarterback in NFL history to have 40 or more touchdowns in four consecutive seasons. And because he's turned the ball over less than Peyton Manning, we're going to claim that he's a turnover machine, puts his team in bad situations. He can elevate his play to a different level that there's not many quarterbacks in the league right now or league history that can do it. So... I mean, you're picking out numbers here, and this is my response to you. Peyton Manning had more turnovers than Josh Allen in his first six seasons. So what's your point? 
If anybody watches Josh Allen play on a consistent basis, they would know what Allen is capable of doing and how much he elevates his team's play to the next level. Sure, he can shoot he can shoot himself in the foot, shoot the team in the foot with some costly turnovers, but usually, usually his play exceeds that level. He gets that play to the next level to the point where the turnovers don't even matter. He will win games regardless of the turnovers. The turnovers are just something that Bills fans have come to accept. It is the way that Josh Allen plays the game, kind of like a Brett Favre. And Brett Favre, to me, that's a great player to be in comparisons with. That's this week's version of Reading Dumb Comments. It was fun to do it about Josh Allen because there is so much hate that this guy gets. And he is one of the best quarterbacks that I've seen in my entire life. He is stellar, exceptional, does things that no other quarterback can do. And it's just so fun to watch him on a weekly basis. A lot of these people commenting these things just... They aren't appreciating greatness that's right in front of them, and I think that's sad. But either way, that's their loss. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the Bills Bunker. Check out other content on the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'll be having other content released throughout the week as the Bills and Chiefs, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes are set to take off. I'll be in attendance at that game doing my live reaction video, so stay tuned for that as well. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Jake Varco, and this is the Bills Bunker.